Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Eric Shoji, professional volleyball player and libero for Team USA. I'm here to react to and analyze different volleyball videos from around the world in hopes of inspiring, educating, and having fun with volleyball nerds just like me from all over the world. So if you love volleyball just as much as I do, subscribe to my channel so you can see my videos every week. Happy New Year, everyone. I realized that last video I posted, which was supposed to be like the New Year video, wasn't even in 2021. So I just wanted to say it again, Happy New Year. I hope you all had a fun night, a safe night with some friends and family. I was actually able to go up to Moscow and spend some time with some volleyball friends, have a nice dinner and actually saw some fireworks in Victory Park, which is this huge, awesome park in Moscow. So it was a good night, a fun night, a mellow night and I'm so excited to get 2021 started with a bang. Let's do this. All right, guys, today we're gonna be watching my brother, Kavika Shoji, from his last match in Italy. This is Padova against Monza from right before the new year. So we're gonna watch the fifth set. We're gonna react and see how you did, Kavika. Let's do it. So Monza serving 0 0 in the fifth. Nice up by that libero. Came off the line, got in front of that ball. Great cover by that libero again. And Lonsa, sneaky Lonsa, put it right in the corner. That was a pretty nice play by that libero. Let's watch that again. Especially on this cover. So he gets really tight right there. One arm stab, gets it up, nice play. And then that high shot to the corner. That is like really smart and pretty undefendable. Is that a word? to the high corner right there, especially when you know that he hits a lot of sharp. Again to the back, seam open, and that opposite. If you leave that seam open, he pretty much just hits it really hard and it's gonna be a kill. All right, Kavika, you're up serving, let's go. Nice serve and pass. Whoa, let's watch that one again because Kavika's definitely gonna go to this line. That passer completely sprawled out, gets his angle out, Sh left shoulder is down, even though he's like falling to the ground. That's pretty impressive, right on the money. And snuck it right through the hands. Dang, that was a good serve by Kavika. And Monza just pretty much just destroyed it. Float serve. Nice pass. Ah, the error. Let's watch that one again. You could see the libero for Padova take a big step right there to kind of pass two and free up the outside for the pipe. Let's see if he does it again. Wow, he stepped the other way. Well, he kind of served right at the middle. Nice up. Oof, that opposite is huge. 4-1 Monzen, not where you want to start if you're Padova. Great hand pass, good extension up. Dang, that setter Orduna is stepping right up in that seam. But that was a nice up by Orduna. He just went right in the seam, got his body in front of it, created space with his body, got it up. A little bit of movement with his platform there, but overall not bad. Pass was pretty decent. Let's see what happened on this attack. Oh my gosh, the miss hit went down. After all those stronger attacks, the fluff, those work because you're just not ready for them. Ooh, right back at him, the service error. I actually watched this match live and there were a ton of service errors. It felt like that actually. I mean, just watching it, I'm not exactly sure. But I know that Monza was coming off coronavirus. They were quarantined. And Padova had some illness, sickness. So it's not surprising that there were some mistakes there. Took something off. Perfect pass. And with the cutback. So that middle had really nice vision. He saw that two blockers were up right there and cut it back to the open space. 7-3. High ball, woo, change it up there. What? Where were they standing? 
So Danani does a pretty good job of throwing off the block. I'm not so sure about that positioning, but maybe he read something else that I'm not seeing. Woo! What happened? Net violation. So the setter won the joust. Setters always win joust. Like, why is that? I think they just have the best timing. But he came down in net, so point for Padova. Good serve, good pass. Go. Nice up off that block. Where was that set? Let's watch that again. Maybe a little bit inside, but Stern did a really good job of adjusting, getting that tip. I don't, I'm not sure what Monza saw there. I think it was an inside set. He couldn't do that much with it. Again, it's not that easy. But somebody got to go. It's the fifth set. Six, seven. Nice. I like that they're just putting some serves in. A little bit of pressure. That's not a great matchup for Kavika there. That outside is really tall. Let's see what happened. Brought it inside. Danani super shallow because he knows that around Kavika, he's probably going to get some harder balls. Sorry, Kavika. But that outside kind of drove it a little bit deeper, made it harder for him to defend. Eight serving six at the switch. Another service error. Good serve. Nice, calm pass. Can we see that again? Bam, it's hard to see, but his platform is out. His angle is really nice. His feet and legs are stable. Not a lot of movement. That's what I like to see. And then he crushes the pipe. Yeah, pretty good volleyball play there. Nice pass there too. Where was that ball, Kavika? down the line. Oh, sir. oh, trying to go short. Oh, I don't know about that service error there on the float short serve. All right, serving sub, eight serving 10. A little bit low. There we go, Kavika with the monster block. Right as I say, he's a small blocker. He can, he can get some good blocks, some good soft touches. A lot of my digs in college were because of Kavika's soft touches, so I should be thankful for his block. Dropped it short. Oh, that roll shot. Could he have made that touch a little bit better? A little bit low off the net. Okay, he destroyed it anyway, but probably could have kept the team a little bit more in system, but he is their strongest hitter. Kavika was going to feed him, and he put it away, so I don't know. 10-10. In system. Nice up. Go! Oh, I feel like he could have got that. Good up on that pipe. Lonza has been killing that pipe, so it was awesome that they could at least touch it and get it up. All right, good server. Nice fight off. I need to see that again. Contact, look at that angle. I mean, his feet weren't great. He wasn't that balanced, but when those things aren't great, an awesome platform, a great angle can kind of make up for that. So you can see his left shoulders down, his arms are straight, solid, not a ton of movement. And he fights this off pretty much to the middle of the net, probably a meter off. Nice. Nice set, Kavika, nice cover. And they put it away. I know that Kavika worked a ton on this set in the summer. So it's awesome to see him translate it to the match. Let's watch that one again. Boom, extension. And that cover. Was he ready, Kavika? Were you ready? Now, here's the thing, setters. After you set, please cover. Like, please be ready. I mean, I'm not that great at covering either. But I'm getting trying to get better, working on it. But when you're a setter, you know where the ball is going. So you can kind of set and make a move. And I don't know why this stands out in my head, but Japanese women setters, I feel like when I've seen them on TV, always follow their set and they're so good at covering because they're really ready. So setters, once you set, get stopped, 
kind of move in that direction and see if you can cover the ball. I mean, this is a great out by Kavika, but I don't think he was that ready for it. All right, 11 all Kavika. Let's see if he does his shimmy. He goes like this, right? There we go. There it was, shimmy, shimmy. Oh, the shimmy didn't work on that one. Kavika, make your serve at 11-11. All right, let's see if Danani moves here. He did, but the wrong way. That server is pretty good at seeing him. There we go. Great play there. Nice pass set hit. Awesome side out in rotation one, which on a lot of teams can kind of be the weak rotation. And it's also like a mental rotation for a lot of teams. So great side out there to get out of that super quickly. Lonzo with that pass, he's so stable. Kavika, falling back. It's okay, I do that too. But let's see, could he have done something differently? Kind of got a late step. I don't know, that's a pretty hard ball. 13-12. Oh, nice serve. Good fight off, got in front of that ball with his angle. Nice up in the seam. What happened there? I, I need to watch that one again. So the block might have been a little bit outside. It's pretty hard in transition to tell. Danani is super shallow, ready for maybe some roll shots or straight down hit. I just don't know what happened. I think he definitely, yeah, he's super upset at himself because he knows that he could have dug that ball and kind of gave Padova another chance in transition. All right, match point number one for Monza. One with the short. Nice play, Danani. Let's watch that one again. Slow-mo, gets that leg out in front. That is such a nice move. So one thing on short serves, and I do it too, I think a lot of people do it, is that they try to get both legs out. I don't, this is really hard to explain, but instead of getting one leg out like Danani did, where you can kind of push off with one and the other one goes in front, a lot of people don't push and then the, both their legs go to the ground. And that just covers a little bit less range. So Danani, by pushing off his right, and getting his left foot out in front, we're able to, was able to cover a little bit more ground there and just be faster on that short serve. So that was a great play. Nice set, Kavika. Weird cover. Inside! Got his feet there. Nice play by Stern, the opposite. Kavika left that a little bit inside. He knows it, don't worry. But Stern made a great play there by getting his feet there. 13, 14, I was so nervous watching this live. Good serve, out of system. Nice touch, great control middle. Put that away. Oh, roll shot. No. The roll shot after all of those hits. Gotta see that one again. Great serve. The outside takes a rip. Great control by that middle. Like, that was awesome. You love to see middles. Middles, you need to work on that because you're gonna get a ball like that at 14, 13 and the fifth. Like, that's just how volleyball works. So keep practicing that so you can put up a good ball like he just did. Nice set. Oh, did he take something off of that? Great block. Why is the opposite there covering? And the roll shot. Let's see how this block formed. Not the best block on this out of system play by Padova. I think they saw the roll shot coming and they almost were less aggressive with the block when, I, okay, I don't block you guys, but I'm gonna pretend I know what I'm talking about. I think on these plays, you almost need to be more aggressive. Get your arms over faster, stronger, less holes in the block. So you can make sure that that roll shot doesn't sneak through like this does. And then the ref calls a double. Ah, and the match ends for Monza, 3-2. After being down 2-1 to Padova. Well, that was a sucky ending for Padova. <laughs> Obviously, it's never fun to lose, but congrats to Monza for winning that match 3-2, and especially after coming back 
from COVID. Trust me, you guys, that is not easy. And I'm sure they were all super exhausted after that match. And Kavika, my favorite brother in the whole world, <laughs> who I love very much, you did pretty good. Except for that serve at 11-11. I'm gonna need you to make that next time. So please do that. Just kidding. Sort of. Not really. Make your serve. I know you know that too. <laughs> anyway, guys, Kavika is someone that's super fun for me to watch. Obviously, he's my brother. I'm his number one fan and probably like his number two or three constructive critic after himself and maybe my dad. <laughs> but he's such an awesome player to watch. He leads, he competes, he fights, and he literally gives everything he can every single match. So it's really inspiring and really fun for me to watch and give some constructive criticism and feedback in this video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this match. I hope you enjoyed watching the Italian Super League once again, one of the best volleyball leagues in the world, if not the best. So many great players, so many great teams that we can all learn from, study, and then take back to our own game. And that's definitely one of the things I hope you all do after watching my videos. But anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Get out, play some volleyball if you can in 2021. It's gonna be a great year, right? Have fun and I'll see you all soon. Peace.